Hello and welcome to this channel's first ever rig review. If you're new here, my name is Skitty and I'm a 3D animator. Today, we're going to be looking at Frigging Awesome Studios newly released Mecha Mech Family Pack rigs. This video is not in any way sponsored, but Josh from Frigging Awesome Studios did give us a promo code so that if you like what you see here, you can go over to the website, which I will link in the description, and get $3 off your purchase of the Mecha Mech Family Pack if you type code Skitty at checkout. I've already done a few quick examples with these rigs for the Anambot video, which I will also leave a link in the description. So I can already tell you that I highly recommend these rigs, but I just wanted to showcase them here so that you can see what they're all about. As you can see here, the family pack comes with eight different body shapes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the controllers back on. Over on the left, we have Smasher, Lil Flourish, Lil Dash, Husky, Russia, Flourish, Dash, and BB. All of these rigs have the same setup, so we're just gonna look at Dash for the time being. Just gonna go into the reference editor, turn all of these references off. Now that our scene is optimized, let's get into it. First off, on the body one control, we have our translates and rotates, rotation order, which is useful, and a global scale. Really handy. We also have a body two and a body three control, which is super useful if you're doing a walk cycle and you need to translate him somewhere. I try to never put animation on this body one control. That way, if you have to move everything later, you can just grab this and move it and all of your animation will work with it. It's really handy that we have two controls in here just to make sure that we never have to touch this main one. Next, I'm gonna look at this little cog here, which has a ton of options in it. Here we can turn on advanced body controls. You can see we got some more shapers on the legs and on the arms. We got more feet controls, advanced face controls. Let's go ahead and turn those on as well. We got some more showing up here. We can turn off face controls, head controls, arm controls separately, and leg controls separately. That's good if you finish something and you don't want to accidentally bump it, or if the controls just start getting in the way. Under style, we have geo style, so we got mech and we got human here. Hair style, I'm guessing that's for the human. Yeah, we got none, comb over, and balding. Always nice to have those different customization options. We got nose style. Ton of different options. Give him a button nose and turn on his beard. Turn off pupils, that's terrifying. You can turn him into a cyclops. I'm gonna open the mouth because it says that there's teeth controls here. Okay, so the teeth controls are these ones here, which we can pull up and pull down, make them visible. Go back into the cog. Ooh, we can turn on a tie. Classy. Knee elbow pad viz. I'm guessing that is for the mech style. Yeah. We can make him look like he has kneecaps or turn them off. I'm gonna bring him back to human. And we got some thickness controls. Ooh. Sexy. Head scale. These are really neat so that you can actually completely customize your character. This would be great if you're making a shop for your demo reel, that way yours looks a little bit unique. Common problem with demo reels is that everybody has the same rigs on their reels, so at least if you pick this one, you can customize it to your own liking. And length, okay, that's neat. Scale the hands up. Make the fingers fat. All kinds of customization options in here. That could be very fun. We got foot scale, leg thickness, foot width. Awesome, so that's all that we have for the cog control. Let's look at the main foot control. We got translation, rotation, rotation order, sub viz, let's turn that on. Oh, that's really useful. So if we need to make tiny adjustments, counter animate, whatever, 
We need to have a secondary control there. We have one. Stretchy is on, that's, I like stretchy, but sometimes you do want to turn it off, so it's nice to have the option. Stretchy lets you just pull the leg as far as you can. If I was to turn stretchy off, then the leg does not elongate when you pull the foot control down. We got IK twist. Upper IK stretch and lower IK stretch. That could be a useful one if you are trying to chase out some pops in the knee. Smart roll. Okay, so that's our typical ball roll, but it actually lifts the toe when it gets to that peak position. Never seen that on a rig before. Then we have our regular ball roll, which goes forever. Ball rotate. Toe roll, toe rotate. These are all rotating super smooth. If there's any weirdness, it's with my mouse, not, not the controls. Heel roll, heel rotate. Love how smooth these controls are moving. Okay, so we have a, a translate follow for different controls and a rotate follow separately. Now we have some other controls here. Looks like it's a, a rotation, yeah, manual rotation. I like having these here because I don't like to have to plug them in in the channel box. I like to actually move them physically myself. So this is really, really nice to have here. This would be like a, a swing control. And we have one for the toe. So this one's like a manual ball roll control. That is super handy. I'm gonna be using that one a lot. And then we have the control for the toe itself. And we have the knee control, which because we have stretchy on, we can pull it as far as we want to. We have a sub control that we can turn on, just like with the foot, in case you have to counter animate or something. And we have some shaper controls. I love my shaper controls. They really help you push the line of action. Also notice how fast these rigs undo. I don't have the strongest computer in the universe. This computer is four years old at this point. So the fact that it's undoing as fast as it is tells me that these rigs are optimized really well. And we have a cog out here for the legs individually. We can switch from IK to FK. This is our FK leg. Auto bend upper, okay, and auto bend lower. No leg would ever do this, but it could be fun. We have the main hip control. Translate it, rotate it, and see how it's reacting with the legs. We have a sub control, pivot handle. Okay, that's a super, super useful control. I just took the pivot handle and moved it out here, so now this is the new pivot point for the hip cog. If you don't have Animbot, that could be a really useful way to get around the temp pivot function. Then we have a hip two control. And then one that doesn't take the spine with it. This would be an offset for the hips. Another hip offset, but a little further up the spine. Spine IK mid. This is another useful shaper control. This is for the FK spine. I like to grab them all in a group ra rather than rotating them individually. This allows the rotation that you make to always be consistent, especially in your graph editor because they'll all have the same keys with the same values. We have the chest box control. Or when the spine is just not enough. Our clav controls. 
can be rotated and translated. Clav tip control can also be rotated, translated. Got some FK chain controls for the tie. Another thing, I would grab them all at once. To rotate. We've got the arm controls. We're in FK right now. Another thing that these rigs have that I've never really experienced before is translatable FK. Super handy, but also dangerous. Don't get too wild with it. We've got the cog for the hands. Translates and rotates. We can do these for all the digits at once. We can curl, bend, splay. I really like using splay. Twist, tilt, spread knuckle, width, height, and length. We can do those for the finger one and finger two individually, and then we have some for the thumb, root curl, root bend, root twist, curl, bend, twist, width, height, and length. We also have a bit of a, a hand play control. I think it's called cup here. Nice to get those natural shapes in the hands. And we have the finger FK controls, which can rotate and translate. Kinda neat that it pulls the other part of the finger with it. Keep it closer intact unless you pull the tip. And we have this little cog here to switch it to IK. Now we're in IK for the arms. Stretchy is currently turned on. We can turn that off though. But I like it on. Add upper stretch and lower stretch, just like the legs. World orient. Elbow orient override. We got our translation follow and rotation follow. And we have the neck control. And a control to shape the neck. Yes, that's the stretchy for the top of the head. Translate this. Yes, we can translate. Beautiful. So this is probably the head tilt. Yeah. A tilt control and we have a sub control just in case we have to make minor adjustments after the animation's done we got a cog above the head which I believe is a head isolate control so it's only moving the head not anything else we got a lower head stretchy control got to get that line of action in the face like we can Scale that individually. Pretty neat. And scale top of the head as well if we want them to look like a slice of pizza. And then we have the face controls. So we have the the eye direction diamond. I guess most people call it an aim control. Individual eyeballs if you want them to look drunk or a little mad. Let's look at the eyebrows next. Move them pretty much anywhere we want on the face. Great thing about these blocky cartoon faces rather than more realistic faces is that because the pieces are separate, we have the option to have all of these customization controls. Like we could literally move these, these pieces of the face anywhere we want and it will move exactly where we're looking to go. It makes sense. Well, this doesn't really make sense, but you get what I mean. It does make sense. Move the nose up here. Have some 
pretty big buck teeth that are crooked. A little bit of a swing. The mouth can move wherever we want and the beard even follows it, which is pretty handy. We got all these individual apron controls for the mouth. Sides of the mouth controls, which even affects the teeth, which is really useful. Okay, so we have follow mouth curvature, which is what is affecting that. We got some lower lid controls. Not rotatable, but they are translatable. That's an interesting one. This affects how thick or thin the eyeballs are. So if you want to make them 2D cards, you can. That's really useful. Now that we've made him as beautiful as we can, the Mecha Max also come with this shelf button, which gives you this menu on the side here, which is really, really useful. Up here, we get to load our namespace. And if we have multiple characters in our scene, we can just select a control and update from object selection, which will put our selected character up in this box here. We have anim tools, we have customization, and we have help. In help, we have a button here for fax, docs, and contact. In customization, we have select options control. We can fix camera clipping. We can open the shaders for every part of the body so that we can change the color, etc. for each piece. We got some presets here for coloring. And we have a section here for increased performance so we could turn on proxy mode. It just gives us these basic shapes so Maya will run a ton faster. You can turn that off. Proxy browse on and off. Select all geo. Smooth preview off. Smooth preview. We can change the texture quality. Delete unused geo. Then under anim tools we have a section for selection. We can select all of our controls here. We can select just the body controls, the neck, Clavs, the arms, the hands individually, the spine, left and right leg. We have selections for the face, brows, eyes, and mouth. Selections for master one, two, and three controls. And the options for the body one controls. We have select opposite, which is super handy. Click this clavicle over here. It will select the opposite side. We can reset the pose. We can copy and paste pose. We can copy and paste for local world and face mirror. Turn on and off sub controls. We have an IKFK matching tool for the arms and the legs. And an option here for IK to FK flip fix. We can copy and paste world space positions. We can transfer attributes to transform controls. And under more anim tools, we have links to purchase Frigging Awesome Studios other animation tools, which are also really handy. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to dive into these tools in the future. But for now, that about does it for the Mecha Max. I gotta tell you guys, I really highly recommend that you check out these rigs. Whether you're a beginner or not, these rigs are perfect for pumping out anything body mechanic related. They've also been optimized properly so you can bring them into game engines and play around with them in there. If you do check out these rigs, don't forget to use code SKITTY at checkout for that family pack and you will get $3 off of your purchase. Leave a comment below if there's something you didn't understand. Like and subscribe if you learned something. Links to socials are in the description and remember to always use a reference.